Well, the spread of the coronavirus is a growing concern for nursing homes across the state. We just got these new numbers. 1,633 residents and health care workers in long-term care facilities have been infected with COVID-19. And statewide, 159 long care facilities have at least one case there. So today, workers at nursing homes rallied for better protections. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse has the details from Worcester. Very worried because uh, the, the pandemic is, is very serious. Joseph Coombe is a nurse at a long term care facility in Worcester. He and some of his colleagues stood outside their workplace in the pouring rain Thursday afternoon to call for more protective gear. We are all trying to do the social distancing, but still, we need the PPE to be able to work and protect ourselves and protect the rest of the world. Staff at four nursing homes around Massachusetts joined a nationwide rally calling on the Trump administration to provide more PPE. They are um, you know, at great risk for themselves and their families. The effort is being led by the Service Employees International Union in Massachusetts. It represents roughly 5,000 workers at long-term care facilities. Housekeepers are in there cleaning the rooms. Uh, cooks are making the food for the residents. And all of them are um, showing up every day to try to do their part. Nursing home employees are also hoping the community can help by donating gear. It is critical that we have access to PPE. The Massachusetts Senior Care Association set up a section on its website to help streamline PPE donations. We need to protect our workers in order to protect and provide quality care to our residents. Coombe hasn't come in contact with the virus yet and hopes more protective gear will keep him safe if he does. And we're praying that the pandemic goes away early so that we can all go back to our normal work. Reporting from Worcester, Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.